Yo, 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 yo. Dan Soy, amateur cook, a.k.a. Batman in the kitchen. Welcome to the food zone where we take this journey together, learning recipes as one. Today is um, Wednesday's upload. Thanks for being here. Today is the um, international recipe. It's from the Philippines. They're kind people. They're loving and they have great food. So this is something that can be made anywhere. And it's a great um, Philippine white cheese on um, sourdough. It's called Kaysong Pute. And um, we'll get started. Um, here's Kaysong Pute cheese. We're going to need a pepper. We're going to need butter. We're going to need half of a lemon. Olive oil. You're going to need black pepper. You're going to need a tomato. Onion is optional. We're only going to use a little bit of this. But it's optional. We're going to use good sourdough bread. You want to use bread that's at least one day old. So we're going to need that. Sea salt. And we got two cloves of garlic. The thing we're going to start first with is um, is we're going to make like the salsa in the um, bowl. So we're going to put some of, these ingredients, some of these ingredients aside. And we'll use these vegetables and we'll create the salsa. Then after that, we'll do the bread in here. And then after that, we'll grill the um, cheese. And um, let's get started. All right, for um, the Kaysong Pute on toast, we're gonna need to start with the tomato. So we're gonna do the tomato. We're gonna use half the pepper. We're only gonna use a little bit of this. And we're gonna combine all this in a mixing bowl. We'll put in um, half of um, lemon juice. And then we'll use um, black pepper and salt for um seasoning so let's get this cut up and we'll put it in the mixing bowl all right so we got the tomatoes cut up and we're just going to throw this into the mixing bowl the thing we're going to do now is we're going to take this pepper and we're going to use half of it and we're going to dice that up and basically with the tomato or the pepper dice it chop it do whatever you want it's your cook your house all right, so um, YouTube and Facebook, like I said, just use a half a pepper. If you wanted um, to use more or less, you can. It's up to you. All right, so we have the pepper done. That's cut up, and we're going to put that in our, our mixing bowl. So just put all that in there. And the next option is, um, this is optional. You could put in some red onion. If you want it, you could just keep it um the tomato and the pepper, but it's all up to you. I'm going to throw in just a little bit of this onion. All right, so we're making progress progress on this Kaysong Pute. Sorry if my um words and timing is off today. I was sick for um a couple days and trying to recover, but I wanted to bring you on um, Wednesday's upload. So um, like I said, the red onion is optional. So throw that in there and um. The next thing is we're going to add the um, half of the lemon juice. We'll add the pepper and the salt. So um, we'll go to, to that. All right, so we have all that in there. Now we're going to take the pepper, throw some pepper in there, and um, throw some salt. And like I said, this is to taste. So um, just mix that up. And this is kind of like a salsa. If you wanted, you could wanted to, you could buy your own um, version of this in the store to cut some time. So the next thing we're gonna do is um, put half of the lemon in, and then we're done with this. We'll let it sit, and we'll work on the toast. All right. So um, we're gonna take this lemon. If you don't have a lemon, you could um, use um, a lime. I mean, if you don't have a lemon, you could use a lime. So just put a half of that um, lemon in there. And then after that's done, just stir everything together. And you're going to let this sit while you work on the other stuff. You'll use this to top the, um, the bread on top of the cheese. So we're done with that. All right, YouTube and Facebook, we're going to do the toast. This is sourdough bread. It's one day old. You're going to need two bulbs of garlic, two tablespoons of um, butter, and you're going to need olive oil. The thing you, you do is put your pan on medium, 
and put in the um, two tablespoons of butter. The next thing you're going to want to do is put a tablespoon of oil in there. And um, just work that about, let it warm up, and then we'll take the garlic and we're going to smash it. And we're going to throw it in there. We're not going to use the garlic, but you want the garlic to go in there with the oil and butter. And then we'll do our toast. Alright, so you can see that we smashed this. Just smash that down. It really doesn't matter. We're not going to really use it. We just want the garlic in the, um, in the oil and butter. So you can see that the butter and the oils together. Throw that garlic in there. And now we're going to put that toast in there. I mean, now we're going to put that sourdough in there and we're going to um, brown it on both sides. And if you have to, adjust the temperature between low and medium. If you have to, go up a little bit towards high, but you don't want to burn anything. All right, so you can see that that butter, oil, and garlic is in there. This is similar to the sandwich I did yesterday, the roast beef one. So now we're going to take this really good um, sourdough and we're going to put it in here. And we're just going to keep turning it around and then we'll just flip it over when it's done. You see how it's getting brown already? And the thing is, if you want, you can take um, sea salt and pepper and add more to this. So just keep turning this and regulate your stove. But you can see the color already coming into that. After this is done, we'll put the um, toast to the side and um, we'll wipe the pan down and then that's when we'll grill the um, Quezon Pute cheese. Philippine white cheese. So we'll do that right after. And then after that, we just put it all together. All right, so we're almost there. We just keep turning that and then you flip it and do it to the color you want but you want it nice and golden or you want it brown alright so that's basically done um, you can see that it's brown it's to the preference I want but you could do it longer I removed the garlic you could always um, use that in another recipe but turn the stove off and just keep turning it and um, keep flipping it and then after that we'll put it aside and we'll do the cheese all right, so you can see that that bread is nice and hard now. I actually put pepper on there. You could have put salt if you want. Now the thing we're going to do is wipe this bowl, I mean wipe this pan clean. If you want it, you could use two different um, pans. And now we're going to um, do this Philippine cheese. We're going to grill this. Once we grill it, we're going to put it on top. And then after that, we're going to put the salsa on top and you're ready to eat. It's really simple to make this. It comes from the Philippines and you can make it worldwide. It's really good. All right, so we're back. Um, we have that toast here. Like I said, it's nice and hard and crispy. Now we have the cheese. The thing you're going to want to do is, like I said, you wipe that pan down, put one or two tablespoons of um, olive oil in there. And we're going to grill that cheese. So just put the stove back on medium. Work this olive oil around. And if you have to, turn it down to low. You want to cook this cheese, but you don't want to totally burn it. If it gets brown, um, that's okay. You want to use a spatula to keep turning it. So the thing we're going to do is, we're going to put that Quezon Pute cheese in there. And just do your best. Spin it around and then use a spatula to... um turn it all right so you see that that cheese is cooking just keep on um, using a spatula you see it's getting brown turn it it's going to melt a little bit but um just keep working it in that olive oil turn it down if you have to once it's done we're going to take that put it on top of the um bread and we'll put the tomato on top if you want you could add um olive oil on the top but um, you can see that this is getting brown. We're almost there. All right, so you can see that the cheese melted really good. You got to be fast with this because um, this cheese works, uh, I mean, melts really fast. So you see the cheese, and right now you can see what was left in that um, pan. You could use other bread to dip into that and um, use that as a um, tasty snack. So um, there's your um, cheese. And you see how it melted like perfectly around the bread? Now we're just gonna top it and we're done. If you weren't doing this video, like I said, you could probably um, do it in like four or five minutes. All right, so the last step is, 
you want to take the salsa and just start spreading it on there. This is a really simple dish, but tasty. So spread that around, and then we're done. All right, YouTube and Facebook, there it is. Quezon Pute, Philippine White Cheese Toast. Thanks, Philippines, for the recipe. Like I said, you can make it in the USA, Canada, South America, anywhere else. And look how that cheese forms. So um, it's today's is uh, it's um today's um upload Wednesday. Sorry, I'm off. Like I said, I was sick, but I wanted to bring you this um recipe. So um, look at this close up. Look at that cheese. Look how it darkened. That cheese is really good. If you had to, if you're in an area that you can't get that cheese, use like provolone. Provolone is good. Or a lot of cheese shop cheese shops have um grill and cheese. So um thanks for being here. It's good to try international um recipes at times. Mix up your palate, try different things, and I will see you Friday. Peace. Dan Soy, aka Batman in the kitchen. Out. Peace.